Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney. I'm here today partnering with Figma to show you four ways students can vote in a Fig Jam. The first way is with the alignment scale widget. So if I zoom in on that, and now let me register my vote with this uh, statement. Do I strongly disagree? Do I agree? Let's say I wind up somewhere in the middle on this question. I click and there I am. And now I see where all of my participants fall on this question on the spectrum. The way we get this alignment scale is we go to widgets and I'll click on widgets and I will type alignment scale and it comes right up. And there I can either hide or not hide my results and I can there change the prompt that students see as they put themselves on in the alignment scale. Pretty neat. Next, students can simply stamp their avatar as far as where they think they belong. And using the stamp is pretty easy. They can click this icon here, click stamp, and then use their icon to stamp where they think uh, they belong for different option choices. So here I'll stamp myself right there and it's as simple as that. And that's just the stamp tool using your profile icon. If we go over to here, there is a simple vote widget. So if I think Napoleon was conservative, let me change there, there we go. I can just vote for that. And now I see all the students who have voted for the different choices. That's really neat. And that's as simple as we go to the widget and we type simple vote. We click there and here we can allow secret votes until shown, anonymous and allow multiple votes. So we have those options. And I like leaving it not anonymous so that you actually see who all has voted which way. One last way we can do this is there is a poll widget. And so if I think Napoleon was conservative, I click there and now you see the bars change to that. I see all the pro profiles of who voted which way. Under widgets, we type poll. We click on that. And there I can ask a question. I can set my options. I can play with settings. So I can hide votes until poll ends and or make anonymous votes. I like the votes where you can see how each student has voted. I can actually change the color too. And if I just click that start poll, you can see as, as people vote, it's that color that you set it to, which is really nice. And I can still go back and edit the poll. I want to thank my partner Figma and promote their two-day free virtual event, August 16th and 17th of 2022. Go to commonsbyfigma.splashthat.com to register. I'll put all these links in the description below. To get a free verified Figma EDU account, go to figma.com slash education. And if you want to start a Fig Jam right now and try out some of these voting features, go to figjam.new. Please like, share, and subscribe. Leave your comments below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Thank you so much for watching.